fans, it's time for the wonderful and weirdly wacky Wednesday trivia question. So, okay, sports fans, as you may know, it's World Series time. And last night was the first game of this World Series between Tampa Bay Rays and the Los Angeles Dodgers. So, sports fans, when was the last time that the Dodgers, I want the year, what year did the Dodgers last win a title? Michael Church. Michael Church, you are awesome. That finger was poised. All right, everybody put down your Zoom pointer because Michael Church has nailed it. 1988. That man's going to get a trivia gift, no question. Uh, Papa New Guinea. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Paul. We appreciate your Wednesday morning trivia. Thank you, Michael, for knowing that answer and so massively quickly too. My goodness, Michael Church. He knows his baseball or his or his or his Dodgers. One of the two. I'm not sure which. All righty. So uh, two two other quick uh, announcements just for later today, eleven o'clock. Uh, don't forget, we do have a panel for you of um, colleagues who are utilizing. Uh, some some really great tools to make more money and they want to share with you what they're using and how they're using it to make sure that you have that same opportunity. So that's 11 o'clock today. Join us for that panel. Uh, at one o'clock, we do have some tech one-on-ones uh, and we do have uh, we do have some opportunity today. Uh, tomorrow is sold out and Friday, I think may be sold out. Check the, the Calendly link. But I think we do have opportunities for uh, one o'clock uh, or 1.30 today. So if you have, uh, if you have um, some, some tech business that you wanna take care of one-on-one, -on -one, um, do me a favor, just shoot me a quick text and let me know exactly what that looks like and we'll, we'll get you set up uh, for your one-on-one. -on -one. The, the link is not going to be of use to you today because it's too late. So um, uh, again, again, a quick reminder, it's Profit Share Day. So happy Profit Share Day, everybody. If you have not checked your bank account, uh, do go ahead and see what the, the KW Santa of passive income left for you in your stocking. <clears throat> and so this morning I wanted to uh, I wanted to change things up a little bit and get you guys involved in in this 9 a.m. Uh, and uh, offer out some opportunities for you to give some feedback and answer some questions. So we are going to use the fabulous Zoom polling tool. Are you ready? If you're on your phone, you may struggle with this. I'm not sure exactly how this works uh, with, with Zoom on the phone, but from looking around, I can see most of you are actually in front of a computer, so this will work well for you. <clears throat> you're going to have, you're going to have about 30 to 60 seconds to answer each of these questions. There are 15 of them. We're gonna cruise through them really quickly, right? But <clears throat> you shouldn't need more than 30 or 60 seconds because they're relatively simple. Uh, questions. Please answer honestly. And when there's multiple choice, give us up to three. Give us up to three. Everybody clear on what we're doing? All right. So knowing that today is profit share day, the first question is about profit share. So question number one, did you receive profit share today? Keep the voting going. Oh my goodness. We're getting there, we're getting there. About half of you have voted. How many people aren't sure if they receive profit share? <laughs> <laughs> All righty, so another 10 seconds. We're gonna close this vote out. It is the How first thing go? I do in the morning on, on, on the 21st of the month, <laughs> ask, is ask Kelly. And Five, four, three, two, one. All righty, we're ending that poll. Here are your results. So 34% of you, woohoo, received profit share. Another 13% have received it so far this year, but 53% of you said, no, I haven't jumped into profit share yet. Do you see the massive opportunity that awaits you? If you have not decided to jump into profit share, your task after you get off this call is to connect with your team leader and find out exactly how you can do that. Does that make sense? 
All right, question number two. What mastermind topics would you be most interested in? Finding and taking listings, marketing and getting listings sold, finding and selling buyers, objection handlers, team building and leverage, systems for growth, wealth building. Again, you can choose up to three don't have to choose up to three, but you can choose up to three. All right, another 20 seconds or so. Only about half of you have voted. Keep, keep clicking, keep clicking. We want to know from you what exactly would help you. It seems to only let you select one, Rick. Well, that's unfortunate. So then choose one. <laughs> All righty. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're going to end that poll and share those results. So the number one answer ended up being finding and taking more listings with wealth building and buyers and systems coming in um, as number two or three. Number two or three. So we will continue to, to push to get you uh, masterminds on finding and taking more listings <clears throat> just as quickly as we can get back to our calendar. All right, let's keep going. Question number three. Do you currently use the tech tools, the KW tech tools that are available to you? Yes, I use them every day. Yes, I use them sort of uh, intermittently. No, not quite. And I'd like to, or no, thanks. You can keep your tech tools. You can take your tech tools and stick them where, you know, whatever. Well, this is an easy one. All righty, another five seconds. Four, three, two, one. All righty. So here's our results there. Yes, you're using tech tools, uh, the KW Tech Tools daily. Another 35% of you intermittently. The 23% who said, no, not yet, please do make sure that you jump into those tech one-on-ones. One of the choices for tech one-on-ones is set up an orientation, which would get you started. And then you can start plugging into utilizing the, the, the contact management system, utilizing smart plans, utilizing Facebook campaigns, right? These are tools that will help you grow your business which is why we continue to push them. All right, question number four. My goodness, we are cruising forward. What apps in KW Command are you using? And of course, if you can only choose one, that was not my intent. And yet, if you can only choose one, make sure that uh, you choose the one that you're using the most. Jen, is it still only allowing people to choose one? Unfortunately, yeah. All righty, another five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Bam. All right, so most of you are using the contacts, right? Almost half of you. And then it's kind of split. A lot of you are using smart plans, Facebook ads, and designs, right? The, kind of those next three applets. There are a couple of you who say, I'm only using what I have to. Next question, please. I encourage you guys to, again, dive into a tech one-on-one -on -one because I, if you're only using it because you feel like you're being forced to use it, you're missing all the massive capabilities that this system has in store for you. So please plug into those tech one-on-ones and we will get you up and running. All righty, next question. What passive income streams would you be most interested in? And you know what, hold on half a second because I think I can very quickly allow more than one
Okay, for reasons I can't explain, I think I can't do that for some reason. Okay, so sorry about that. We're gonna we're just gonna cruise forward. <clears throat> we're gonna go to uh, question number five. Which passive income stream would you be most interested in learning more about? And so again, if you can only choose one, then which is the one that screams at you the loudest? Do you want to know more about profit share? Do you want to know more about buying real estate together as a group? Do you want to know more about buying into an insurance program that we're moving forward in to get residuals? Do you wanna know more about buying and selling your own investment property real estate? Or do you wanna learn more about opportunities that might exist for equity in current and future market centers? What passive income stream is most interesting to you? Yeah, should have been in all of the above. All righty, five, four, three, two, one. So the winners here was a tie for investment properties as a group and investment properties on my own. I love the fact that that's where you're focused. I love it, I love it, I love it. So do allow us to help you push forward on that. <clears throat> Next question. What do you think KW does or provides better than your competitors? Which is the number one thing for you? Culture and community, training and coaching for new agents, coaching and consulting for experienced agents, passive income and growth opportunities, technology tools for your business, leadership, wealth building strategies and opportunities, a platform to succeed as a listing and sales agent, team growth opportunities, Where do you think we succeed? How have we been able to help you most effectively? That should be in all of the above. The all of the above portion of this of this program was supposed to be that you could choose more than one, more than one of them. And Clearly, I need to continue to get better at my polling capabilities because I didn't set that, uh, set that correctly. All righty. Five, four, three, two, one. Bam. I'll share those results with you. And so the thing you guys think, the top three things you guys think we do best are culture and community training and coaching for new agents and coaching consulting for experienced agents. We will take a look at uh, each of those answers and make sure that we continue to build on all of them, uh, especially some of the ones where we maybe scored a little bit lower. And so our next question is the exact opposite. Where do you think we can improve? And again, it, because, because we have only one choice that can be uh, clicked, where do you think we can improve the most? It's the same uh, set of questions as you were just given. Where do you think we could improve the most? Where do you think we might be weak? What would you like to see more of to make sure that your experience is exactly what it is you desire it to be? All righty, five seconds, four, three, two, and we're gonna close that off. Okay, so sharing the results back. So you think we have an opportunity to improve on being a platform for you to succeed as a listings and sales agent. Well, I'm really glad I asked that question considering that we are a real estate organization and that's what you're here to do. If you think that we have room to improve on that, we're going to have to dive back in and ask some more questions around what you mean by that, because that's, that's an eye-opening answer for me. If, if you're unclear about how to succeed as a listing and sales agent in our organization, and you're here in our organization as a listings and sales agent, we've got to connect those two dots. So thank you for that transparency. We will absolutely leap on that and continue to figure out exactly how to bring how to improve that score 
For real estate, how best do you want to learn? For real estate, how best do you want to learn? So this is for your listings and sales business. Do you want classes? Do you want panels? Do you want masterminds? Do you want us to bring in outside guests, videos? Do you want to rely on KW national and regional events? Or are you not interested in learning much of anything else? Here we go. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. All righty, let's see what the results were. Isn't this fun? So training classes comes, comes out on top, followed by panels and masterminds and then bringing in some outside guests. So it's interesting to know that videos of national experts are not all that uh, interesting to you. You'd rather have it live is what I'm, is what I'm, uh, is what I'm reading. So we'll continue to build our calendars with this in mind. All right, we're almost there, guys. Same question, but as it relates to tech tools. When it comes to learning tech tools, exactly how is it you'd like to learn? Do you want a class? Do you want one-on-one? -on -one? Online video tutorials? Do you want hands-on homework after the one-on-one? -on -one? And again, those, those last three questions were assuming you could choose more than one. So if you wanna just focus on one of the first three, that would be fine with me. All righty, five seconds, four, three, two, one, bam. All right, so we've got one-on-ones in classes, right, with online tutorials as a, uh, as a backup. The good news is we are offering both of those things. So now, the, now the, the challenge is make sure that you're plugging into them, right? Make sure that you're plugging into them. And the few of you who said, please just leave me alone with this technology crap, here's my concern about that. Technology is how this industry, not how our company, but how this industry is progressing into the future. So if you'd rather just not be bothered, that, that you have to look at that and say, that's a problem for me because I'm, I'm missing out on how the future of this industry is shaping up, right? And maybe some of you just put it there because you wanted to create a laugh, and I appreciate that. Hey, would you like to see our 9 a.m. calls continue? Yes or no, yes or no, real quick one. You wanna see our, our calls continue? These nine o'clocks that we do Monday through Friday. In five, four, three, two, and one. All righty, it's unanimous. It's not a big surprise because those of you who are on the call are typically the ones who are always on this call. So the fact that you all said yes, continue is not a massive surprise, but I'm glad that you're seeing some value in it and look for us to continue them. All right, nearing the, nearing the end here for those nine o'clock calls. Which do, which do you prefer, Ellen, Kimmel, or for the love of God, please find something new? Just remember, if you vote for the love of God, please find something new, I may reach out and ask your assistance in assisting me in finding that something new. So you may, you may be raising your hand and volunteering without even realizing it. Look at that, now all of a sudden the answers are changing. <laughs> All righty, five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to end that and share the results. Ellen still wins over Kimmel. That's kind of interesting. I thought we were pivoting to Kimmel because everyone was sick of Ellen, but all right. I'm going to have to call my friend Ellen and tell her to get, get, get going on, on more of those things. All right, as we roll into our last couple of questions, have you physically returned to the office pre-March 18th? like you did pre-March 18. Are you back? Are you back a bit? And just not to the extent that you had been or you haven't been back? We actually have an office? Where is that located? What's it look like? What's it look like? Have you been back? 
If you weren't in the office a whole lot pre-March 18th, well, then your answer might be, yes, I'm back, because it's kind of the same, right? All right, Ian, five, four, three, two, and one. All righty, so most of you uh, answering that question, I'm back a bit, just not to the extent that I had been, right? So that's good information for us to have. Thank you for that. Next question is along the same lines. When do you plan on returning to the office pre-March 18th at pre-March 18th levels? Have you already returned? Or knowing the safety precautions taken in our locations, you're gonna increase your time in the office over the next few weeks. Or knowing those safety precautions, you're gonna jump back in because you haven't done that yet and start spending office time over the next few weeks. Are you waiting for a vaccine or an effective therapeutic before you step back into the office? Or have you already decided that you're not coming back to the office for regular use any longer? These are important things for us to know so that we understand how best to plan for the use of our space. One of the things you should know is that we have a whole bunch of people who have been asking us for more uh, space. And right now we're, we're, we're reluctant to answer about how we can deliver that space without knowing who's coming back and who's not coming back. So over the course of the next two weeks or so, we're gonna ask you that question even more specifically for those of you who currently have space, right? And uh, we're gonna close this poll, five, four, three, two, and one, bam. So sharing those results, We've got already returned as the top uh, as the top answer. So 30% of you have already come back and another 25% of you are going to start increasing that time in the office, right? So what I'm seeing is about 60 or so percent of you, maybe 55% of you are already back in, in doing things. And some of you plan on doing some more things. Uh, a few of you, a uh, few of you saying not coming back to the office for regular use, uh, about 19% of you, and then 11% uh, are going to start coming back. For those of you who are gonna start coming back, we welcome you with open arms. However, only open arms because we can't actually close our arms around you and give you a hug. So it's just open arms when you walk in and then we'll wave. Um, and so uh, we appreciate that information and respect everyone's answers. Number 14, a quick one. Do you feel the love? Do you feel the love? So yes or no. If you feel it, tell us. If you don't feel it, let us know so that we can make sure that we work a little harder to make sure you are feeling the love. It is important to us that you feel the love because we do love you. And so we just need to make sure that everyone's feeling the love because if you're not, we want to know why you're not and fix that. In five, four, three, two, one. All righty, I'm gonna share those results. So 97% to 3%. For the 3% of you who are not feeling that love, do me a favor, please text me and tell me who you are because I wanna to talk to you personally and find out what we can do to make sure that you are feeling the love <clears throat> based, on, uh, based on the last number of months and the things that we've been, uh, we've been pushing out. So I wanna make sure that we connect. So if you don't wanna to talk to me specifically, do talk to your team leader. And if you don't wanna to talk to either me or your team leader, do reach out to an ALC member in your market center and have that conversation because we want to make sure that we fix that for you. All right, our very last question. And so guys, here's the thing. This went like 20 minutes longer than I thought it was going to go. So I appreciate you hanging in there. And I see that we're out of time, like big time. Here is our last question. Where do you need the most help right now? Where do you need the most help right now? Do you need help in your listings and sales business? Do you need help in passive income? Do you need help with technology? Do you need help with pandemic fatigue? Are you feeling isolated and you need some help getting through that? Do you need help with personal financial struggles? Do you need help with the growth of your team or effectiveness inside of your team? Do you need help with wealth building and net worth? Is that, where, is that where your focus is on? Is that what you need the most help with right now? Do you need help building confidence in yourself from a business or personal perspective? 
Do you need help making money? We want to know from you what you need right now. And we're asking that question because we want to be certain we can focus on getting you the help that you desire, getting the help that you need. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so the last poll that I'm gonna share back with you is how we can help you most right now. And so 26% of you, a quarter of you on the call said I need help with technology right now. And another 25% of you said listings and sales business, right? So 50% of the respondents said the most important need right now is technology and the most important need is growing my listings and sales business. Uh, we will continue to push on those levers. However, everybody who had other answers know that the reason these answers, th these choices were on there is because these are the things that when we think about you, we think that you may need help with. So we're going to continue to find ways that we can push on each of these levers to make sure that if any one of you needs help in any way, we can, we can figure out a way to provide it, right? Here's the other thing I'll encourage you to do. If any of this is urgent for you, please reach out to me or reach out to your team leader. Let us know how it's urgent. Let us know why it's urgent and how we can assist. We are here to help in whatever way we can to keep pushing people forward and getting us through the crazy times that we're in. Guys, thank you so much for your participation today. It is so massively helpful uh, to understand uh, where you're sitting and where you're coming from. We will take that feedback as seriously as a heart attack because that's why we ask the questions, right? <clears throat> Guys, have an awesome day. We'll see you at 11 for our panel. And for those of you uh, in Ignite, please remember Ignite starts at five tonight, not four. Ignite starts at five tonight, not four. Love you all. Take care. See you soon. Hey, Rick. Thank you. Rick. John, do you want to ask a question? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if Rick left. I was just looking for the link for the sign up for the tech one-on-ones. Okay, that you can see that at the bottom of his email, I believe. It's the Calendly link. Gotcha. So go okay. back to one of his emails and you'll, you'll see that. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. You bet, John.